So welcome to the biggest update to the unlinked application, which was only released today on the 15th of July. Now with this new application, I would say the features in here are way ahead of what we had with the unfortunate termination of file link. So for example, I can start the application. It's asking me for a library code. I can click on that. Now, instead of typing in random numbers or random letters, I can now just type in vanity codes or vanity names. So, so for example, here is a test code, which is just uh, super apps. Type that in, click on go. And just like that, using that vanity code, we've now added a monster app repository, which has 54 applications directly to unlinked. On top of that, with this new version, we can now search for content, we can sort content, we can add in custom categories, we can even import content from AppLink. So as you guys know, AppLink is another alternative to file linked. The developer has done some great work, but if you already know of a store that you like in AppLinked, you can actually migrate all of that content directly into Unlinked with pretty much just one click. So many amazing features with this new update, which I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me start the process by creating a new test store, just so you can see how easy the process is. I'll then show you how you can quickly import complete stores from AppLinked directly into your new created store. Then I'll show you how you can install the application on your Fire Stick, on your Nvidia Shield, and then I'll share some other stores which you can use to find your favorite content. Now, in fact, before we create our new store, if I just scroll down, here are some of the new features. So immediately everybody can create vanity codes. Maybe if you are a business that, you know, sells fire sticks and you can call your store like, you know, my business name in applications or my premium applications, you can call your store wherever you like and people can find your store by using your vanity code. Uh, we get the unified dashboard so you can see all of the libraries. It supports categories so you can filter and organize your content. You can search, you can filter, you can sort. Of course, you have a fully working web app, so without installing anything, you can access the content on any of these libraries. It works perfectly fine on Android TV and on Fire Sticks without installing any kind of mouse toggle or anything like that. Just install the application and you're good to go. It automatically saves your library, so you don't need to remember your favorite store creators or their codes. Once you add it to your application, the next time you start it, it'll automatically refresh all of the content in there and you can see the content of those stores. And of course you can also remove those stores if you don't want them anymore. And it also has app updates. So if you do update an application in your store, you'll actually get a prompt when you look at somebody's store telling you that there's an update for this application. So you can really see now guys, when I talk about features and this being feature rich, the developer has done a phenomenal job on this new release. Let's click on register. Now, if you remember from my previous video, you had to have a very long password, which which for maximum security, it's still recommended, but the application does support having eight character passwords now. So, so let's just do a username. So let's go for PC, let's go for PC Doctor UK. Password, we can now use a smaller password. So I'm just gonna go for, and we can see we get the warning now saying that your password is weak because it's less than those 35 characters. But if you're not too fussed about that, you can click on continue, click on understand and click on register. And we now have a brand new store. So I can click on library. I call this my uh, utils. And we can see now we get the option to sort the application. So they can be sorted by name when they were last updated. I mean, this is gonna be very handy that if you do sort a library out by updated, your users, your friends, your family, your customers, they'll know straight away that which applications have the update because they'll be pushed to the top of the pile. Uh, you can also enable the pin lock. But let's just create this library now. So there is our first library, and this is the code to access the library. But what we want to do now is actually import an entire store from somebody that was using AppLinked and bring the content into our new unlinked store. Now, I would advise asking for permission if you know who the store creator is. 
Now in this example, I'm going to use a store creator who has the app link code 6464. Now I've got this code from Freetext website, but unfortunately it doesn't say who the store creator is. Now if you want to see the content of anybody's app link store, you can just go to the app link website and type the code in. So the code I have is just 6464, click on submit. And we're now basically browsing this store using the web interface. And we can see this person does have lots of applications, lots of uh, different content, and it's uh, lots of great stuff in here, guys. So how do we now inject all of this content into our empty store over here? Now, somebody on Discord for Unlinked has actually created a web page or web app to do this. So if I open that up, so it's a very, very basic interface. It just asks you what is the app link code that you want to migrate or copy the content from and add it into your Unlinked. The only thing you need to do is just make sure that you are already logged into Unlinked and we can see that I am. So go back to import. I'm now going to get the content from 6464 click on fetch and we can see now that it's found 54 applications in that store. I'm now going to click on add to unlinked. It then opens up this page. So here is basically the configuration that's going to be imported and we can see all of the links for the applications um, are mostly on archive.org and we also have the links for those logos. So all I need to do now is just click on create. Give that a second. And there it is guys. So now we have two libraries with this new dummy store that I've just created. We have the utils, which has nothing in there. And we now have this JSON import. And when I click on files, just like that guys, in a couple of seconds, we've now imported 54 applications directly into this store. But again, out of courtesy, if you do know the store owner, I would always advise asking for permission first. Okay, so now that we have all of that content, let's go back to the dashboard. I'm now going to rename this. So let's click on edit. So this is gonna be, uh, let's just call this mega app list. I can click on save. Oh, and I'm gonna sort them out by updated. And I'm gonna add in a pin lock, 911911, and click on save. Okay, so we've imported the entire library. We've renamed the library, and we've now added a pin code. The last thing we're going to do is just we're going to add a vanity code so so the person doesn't have to type in this two three library number over here we can go to vanity codes let's click on create let's just call this one 6464 list just out of courtesy for the guy that created this original store so the code is just 6464 list click on accept and click on create now that we've created the vanity code, you have to assign it to a library. So I'm going to assign it to the mega app list library. And that's pretty much it, guys. I can now go to dashboard. But in this example, let's install the latest version of Unlinked onto our Fire Sticks. Okay, so here we are on my Fire Stick. I've just installed the latest version of this application, which has the version number 1.1. You can get this directly from our website, the normal tutorials page for Unlinked. So let's start this application for the first time. Okay, we now get the option to add a library. So I can click on add a library. Now, of course, if you know any library codes, you can put it in. But now that we have vanity codes, I can type in a vanity code of uh, TDUK utils and click on next. That's now gone in. We can see there's seven files in that particular library. Anything I want to install, uh, let's go for this one over here. I can now click on that. And this does now properly support Dropbox and also Google Drive for your hot linking. So, and of course, archive.org. Pretty much wherever you can find or host your files online, you can now link them with Unlinked. Once you've now downloaded that, I can now click on that again, click on launch, and I now get the option to install it. So that's how easy it is to install applications from Unlinked. And now, for example, if I want to add another library, I can click on this. Let's try that test library of just super apps and let's add in a pin 911911. Click on next and we've now added this mega application pack with 54 apps in there that we can now use on this device and again just install with one click. Now if I exit out the application, let's go back into that. And we can see straight away when I press down, it shows you those libraries again. So you don't need to add in those codes again. They are now added to your application and you can now go away and just install 
any application that you like. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do hope that with some of the features I've shown you today that you can see why I do think that this is one of the best if not the best applications to replace file link. And I will be adding some more codes that you guys can use or more vanity codes for you to get your favorite application. So please do like and share this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.